Hi, my name is Megan and in this Meet and Make we're going to make disguises. This activity is based off an exhibition by Rodney Graham. The exhibition title was called That's Not Me and was shown at Baltic in 2017. It's one of my favourite exhibitions that the Baltic has ever shown. Rodney Graham is a Canadian artist who works in film and video, amongst other things. In his practice, he has many different roles, painter, photographer, writer, actor and musician. Through these different roles, he uses a lot of references to books and films and other art. He dresses up and builds sets to create himself into different characters. And then he has a photographer to take pictures and record the moment. These photographs were shown on massive light boxes at Baltic and looked brilliant. There was so much added detail you could see to the story that Rodney created. Today I thought I could show you some basic disguises. The old super spy disguise of hiding behind a newspaper with holes cut out for eyes. You may have seen this idea repeated in TV shows and cartoons. I will also show you how to make some basic disguises such as fake glasses and fake moustaches. Materials you will need are scissors, large paper, this could be cut from a roll of paper, chip shop paper, even A4 paperworks, felt pens, pencil crayons or crayons, pipe cleaners um, and card, a hole punch or an adult with a sharp pair of scissors to help you make a hole later on a phone or tablet to take photographs on, and a photographer. This could be a brother, sister, an adult or a friend. First, I'll show you some of the newspapers I made for my family, including the dog. I created newspaper names and headlines which started to tell a story about the person who was hiding behind it. This could be real or made up. I think it's funny when the newspaper disguise is actually revealing a lot more about the person hiding behind it. You can make your newspaper as detailed as you like. Try using different fonts and uppercase and lowercase writing to emphasise different things. Add pictures too. When I got to the main bit of the text of the newspaper, I just drew lines instead of writing lots of things. Younger artists could work on the drawings while they direct their adults to write out newspaper headlines for them. To make the glasses, I just twisted pipe cleaners into shape, making sure that the sharp bits were really well tucked in. If you wanted to, you could add paper eyebrows and moustaches to complete the disguise. You can cut these from paper and attach them with more pipe cleaners. The final thing to do is to take some photographs. I'd love to see them. You are the director of the photo shoot, so you should choose a location for the photo. Think about backgrounds and make sure it's light enough that the photograph will pick up all the detail you've put into your disguises. Ask your friend or adult to take your picture. Try describing to them what you want in the image. Do you want a close-up of the newspaper and just the eyes? Or do you want your whole body and the background in the photograph? You could make disguises and newspapers for other members of your family too.